as part of your graduation requirement for postgraduate studies, you are expected to have a publication or at least a manuscript accepted in a journal. You thought that you have completed the requirement and expecting to go for your graduation ceremony. But a few days ago, your supervisor called. He broke a bad news saying that the publication you submitted is not being counted for graduation because you published in a wrong journal. It was not an ISI index journal. You were devastated. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Thieu. I'm a family doctor and lecturer from Advanced Medical and Dental Institute, USM Butang. In this video, I am dividing into two parts. The first part, I will guide you to search for ISI Index Journal and the second part will determine their quota. Without further delay, let's get started. For the first part, I will be guiding you in determining ISI indexing of a journal. For your information, ISI index is only considered if they have impact factor. And this impact factor must be reported by JCR or the full name is called Journal Citation Reports. The scoring in Saimago or Scopus stating SJR, SNP, site score are not considered as an impact factor. That's why with these numbers, your journal will still not be considered as a ISI index journal. Now, let's move to the master journal list from Web of Science, WOS. I will be using Malaysian Journal Medical Sciences and Science Malaysiana as examples to guide you in this video. Type in the journal name and click search. Here you will see that MJMS is listed in Master Journalist Web of Science and categorized as Emerging Sources Citation Index or ESCI. For your information, ESCI Collections is a citation index journal, but it is not ISI index because there is no impact factor in this category. To prove my point, let's move to JCR website. When you click the MJMS name, the search result will be none. So MJMS is a Scopus and WOS index but not ISI index journal. Using Science Malaysiana as my second example, fill in and search as before. Here you can see that Science Malaysiana is listed as Science Citation Index Expanded or SCIE and under this collection, there will be impact factor. So we click from the JCR and you can see that it is searchable and there will be impact factor. This confirms that Science Malaysiana is indeed an ISI index journal. To this point, examples that I have given is educational to illustrate difference between ESCI and SCIE. This is to avoid student, lecturer, and researcher mistook journals listed as ESCI in Master Journalist ISI Index. So back to our original objective, if you want to determine ISI indexing status of a journal per se, direct go to JCR and key in the journal title. If the journal name is not listed as the search result, it means that it is not ISI index. Because as I defined earlier, ISI index journal will have impact factor. Second part of this video will guide you how to determine quartile of an ISI index journal. It is important to know the quartile because some universities may require higher ranking journal as key performance index KPI or graduation requirement. It will be a disaster if you thought you have published in a Q1 or Q2 journal, but it was actually a Q3 or Q4 journals. Other than wasted effort, it will be costly for this mistake because some journals have high article processing or publication fees. Continuing with Science Malaysiana, you will notice that Saimago stated it as Q2 journal. But as I mentioned earlier, SJR scoring is not impact factor and the quartile cannot be known from Saimago. According to the latest Malaysian Research Assessment Myra definition, quartile must be defined with JCR. So guys, 
let's find out Science Malaysia na quartal now. Go to JCR, key in the journal name, and click search. You will get the report just now, Science Malaysia na. Move downwards. And initially, it will show source data. And you need to click on the rank. From our 2019 Myra definition, we found that we need to refer to the ranking a year before the publication date. So for example, you have published in 2019, your reference year will be 2018. So in this case, if I have already published in 2019, the quartile is Q4 for us to reference. However, please check with your university librarian because Myra definition may change. So guys, for all relevant links, please browse through my video description. I hope this video guide is able to guide through your publication decision. Click like, subscribe and share this video to help more students and lecturers. See you next time. Thanks.